So what I'm going to do now is visualize lines that would be going across the contours of this person's face. So here I have an actual styrofoam head, and I've used this before. So here, this is high relief. The eye sockets are low relief. So there, my fingers go down on the cheeks and the nose. They come up, and they sort of go up and down on different parts. So what I'm trying to do is visualize how that would happen on this face. So to kind of explain it better, if I imagine there's a line going vertically over certain things, you guys see this string that I'm putting on this guy's face here. Um, it goes up over the forehead, down in here at the nose, up over the nose, and then down towards the mouth here. So I'm trying to imitate that with a vertical line. I also want to imitate the same effect with horizontal lines that would be going across the face. Now we've actually drawn lines like this to help us figure out which way a person's facing, but now they're actually going to become part of the artwork. So I can see this is not a straight line. I'm not just drawing straight lines and stripes across the person's face. So I've got to decide, well, if I imagine the three-dimensional levels or the relief surface of the high parts and the low parts on their face, how would I actually draw those on? So I've got the drawing I'm working on with you guys. So I'm going to take my pencil here, and let's say I start here in the middle. Well, here, because an oblique head is facing me, this line usually looks straight. All right, so there's not a whole lot to do there. But when I go off to the side, I would say, well, I'm gonna kinda go in a little bit and then back out onto their cheeks. So I'm gonna see a little bit more of this starting to happen. And then here, it would seem like it goes in towards their eye, but back out on their cheek. So this is where the line starts to move and describe the shape of their face. In towards their eye, out over their cheek. So I'm going to do the same thing going on the other side, towards the eye, out on the cheek. And I could probably fit one more. Next, I would do a series of the horizontal lines. So here on the forehead, not much is going to happen. I'm going to start here. It's going to curve along the forehead and under the hair. Then I'm going to see that happening along here. It's going to go in towards the eyes, back up towards the nose, down towards the eyes again, and then around to the other side. So this is where it's almost like if I had a net and I just lightly draped it over someone's face, then it would be showing all these high and low parts. So although I'm not drawing this guy's nose, I'm not drawing his eyes, I can tell where they would end up being if they were actually there in the drawing. This is gonna straighten out a little bit more and then here it's gonna to start to actually curve down and back up, down and back up. All right, I could do the same effect on their neck and shoulders. Here it's gonna seem like a straight line. Here it's gonna go down. When it gets to where his neck ends and his chest and shoulders start, it's gonna go around this way. The same thing is gonna happen here. So it basically looks like you're putting your person kind of in a Spider-Man suit or Spider-Woman. All right, now I'm ready to think about adding color to these lines and adding color to my background. 